Welcome to Airborne Labs International Training on the Snow Quick 1.3 Basic for the performance of ISPT NVR, NVOR, and sensory testing on liquid CO2. Snow sampling must only be performed in a well-ventilated area by staff trained in handling liquid and solid forms of carbon dioxide. Review all SDS information about handling CO2 and ensure that proper personal safety equipment is employed, including face shield and cryogenic safety gloves. Inspect the white snow bag for cleanliness. Do not use a soiled bag. Warning, do not use any other bag for snow making. Inspect the snow quick cone and transfer line for cleanliness, tight connections, and that the unit is free of defects. Remove the NVR cans lid and place it on a clean surface with the interior side of the lid face up. Inspect the interior of the NVR can for any particles or film or residues. All inner areas should be mirror polished, clean and shiny. Warning, use only the supplied NVR can. Remove the dust plug from the high pressure, low temperature, full flow quick connect by pushing back on the locking ring. Next, remove the dust plug from the snow quicks and let fitting. Insert the snow cones male quick connect fitting into the mini bulb tanks female connector. Check that the lock ring is engaged and does not pull out. Wearing a safety face shield and cryogenic gloves, point the cone toward the ground, then turn on the mini bulk tank liquid CO2 source valve. Quickly purge the snow quick line prior to sampling. Mount the clean, white snow bag onto the cone. Lock the bag in place with the snow ring and pull the end of the bag for a tight fit. Wearing a safety face shield and cryogenic gloves, point the cone toward the ground then turn on the mini bulk liquid CO2 source valve. Observe the snow bag fill, which takes about 10 to 20 seconds. Periodically, check the fill level by slightly squeezing the bag. Only conduct this procedure while wearing cryogenic gloves and safety equipment. When the snow bag is about two-thirds full, turn off the mini bulk's liquid CO2 source valve. Remove the white snow bag from the cone by lifting the snow ring up towards the braided stainless steel transfer line. Remove the NVR container's lid and place it on a clean surface with the interior side of the lid face up. Wearing cryogenic gloves, transfer the snow into the NVR container. An adequate snow sample should fill this container almost to the top. Warning, avoids can contact with the CO2 snow, as this will cause injuries due to its extreme cold properties. Place the top loader scale on a clean, level surface, and turn it on. The scale will automatically zero itself. Quickly weigh the CO2 snow and NVR container without the lid. Record all information onto the sample ID tag. After recording the weight, reclip the lid back onto the NVR container and place it in a secure area until all the snow has evaporated. Disconnect the snow quick from the mini bulk tank's female connector by pushing back on the locking ring.
It is good practice to wipe off all condensation from the snow pit with a lint-free towel prior to putting it away. Reconnect the dust plugs on the end of the snow quick and on the mini bulb tank. Move the NVR container with the lid secured to a safe place and allow the snow to sublime. Once the snow has completely sublimed, observe the NVR container's mirror-like interior for any foreign particles, oily droplets, or greasy films. If no contamination is observed, check no residue observed on the ID card. If any trace particles or films are observed, a follow-up lab test will see if the amount present is still acceptable or above the ISPT limits. In this case, check the ID tag as residue observed. Insert the NVR container with lid secured and a filled out analysis request form into the shipping container. The NVR kit should be sent to Airborne Labs International as a second day service through a courier like FedEx, UPS, TNT, DHL, or comparable services. Thank you for viewing the Snow Quick 1.3 basic training program. Any questions can be directed to your instructor or sent to Airborne Labs International.